Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia and here we talk all things luxury and lifestyle and today I'm feeling inspired, okay? My most recent video, which I will link above if you didn't catch it, was all about spring and summer 2022 shoes that I bought for the season that I think will be amazing and I got really inspired. So here we are, I've decided to do what I think will be a three or four part edit all around the things that I bought for the spring and summer which admittedly is probably way too many things. So today we are kicking off with outerwear. If that sounds like something you're interested in, please keep watching. This video is for you. The joys of layering. Am I right? Okay, I have a newfound appreciation for all things layering. I don't know how this skipped over my formative years. I have no answer for how I got to this big age and didn't know the joy of layering, but now I do and I'm here to share it with all of you, okay? All right, so to kick off this edit, I'm gonna give you all a look at five of the newest coats and jackets that I bought for this season. Um, obviously, summer isn't a great time for any outerwear. You have to layer in different ways in the summer, but the spring completely is, and because I've gotten into both colors and layering lately, I could not say no to any of these jackets. So, Let's get right into it. All right, so to kick it off, I will start with a blue Ghani coat that I just got from Net-A-Porter. Um, first of all, like what's not to love about cornflower blue? I wanna start there. Uh, the lining of this coat is absolutely gorgeous. Like it's just a whole nother statement in and of itself. And when I saw this coat online, I genuinely didn't know if it was for me. Um, this was very much so one of those, like, let me buy it because it's on sale and then we'll sort it out later at home, okay? Um, the cut is unique. I had never tried this brand, so I figured it's a good deal. It's a new brand I haven't tried. Let me just see how this goes. Um, I love it. It is absolutely amazing. I think something that I'm really excited about with this coat is that while it's, you know, cornflower blue, like I said, it feels like a color that I can wear throughout the year. Um, you all, if you have been subscribing for a couple videos, you know now, I don't buy things I can only wear once. Like, my coins just aren't set up like that. I know there's so many people who will, like, have a purse that they take out on special occasions. I'm like, babe, romanticize that life, okay? I wear all my things for all occasions throughout the year. I just have to have reliable pieces. So this is amazing to me because while I compare it with, like, you know, whites, light grays, bright colors for the spring. I can also pair this with like, imagine this coat, okay? Imagine this coat with like a chocolate brown. An it girl, she's an it girl. Like what? Gorgeous. All right, so piece number two is giving very much so P.S. de resistance, okay? Cause you know, I was gonna throw a little French in there. I am obsessed with this coat to the point where if you follow me on Instagram, you know this, I wear this coat like three times a week. I think it's because I'm worried the temperatures are gonna get too warm and I'm gonna have to wait months to put this on again. I love it. So this is a, maybe like a jade green, I might say. It is by Remain by Burger Christensen. Um, it is quilted, it is lightweight. I got this one from Saks. I got it on sale, but it is, it's everywhere. I've seen this on Farfetch, on net porte on Saks. I've seen it so many places and I almost didn't want to include it because this is like my new staple. I get so many compliments on it. One of my sisters calls this the magic coat because literally 10 people every place we go to will be like, oh my gosh, where's that from? Oh my gosh, I love your coat. The other day at Nordstrom, a lady literally grabbed me. Like, I kid you not. She was like, excuse me, I have to know where the coat's from. Where's the coat from? I was like, oh! I thought I was being taken, okay? Like, it, the coat has magic powers and a little bit of danger, so if you like a little edge, try the coat. Um, it is so stunning, it is perfectly oversized. Again, it really is lightweight, which is probably its biggest selling point for me. I did a gorgeous um, monochrome, monochromatic, whatever, an all green look last month. Uh, posted the pictures to my Instagram and I just, it's like my favorite look. It is my favorite look yet. I love it so much. If you get this, you have to tell me, because again, it's like my new staple. This, this is it, I love it. So piece number two, the Pam quilted jacket, uh, remain member Christensen. All right, piece number three is controversial, okay? Uh, every person who's come over to my house in the last like week 
has told me this is hideous and I need to return it. I even initiated a return on net porte and I don't know what to do because then I sort of kind of like it. I need your opinions, please leave them below. Piece number three, Remain by Burger Christensen, again, quilted again. This is basically just the short version of the one I just showed you, but it's edgier. So this one is short, but oversized. It's got buttons all the way down the front, and then an interesting little pocket on the back. Um, and then on the side, it gets a little feisty with a bit of a party. So I've got it zipped on this side, unzipped on this side. It's giving very much so, you know, like corporate in the front, party on the side. I don't know if this is cute or not. I just really, really think that I can style it. And it comes in a lot of other colors. So if your hang up is the color, let me know that. But I really just think this can be styled, like just fly. I feel like in the fall, even in the spring, if I did maybe like a, a color family look, so maybe I'm wearing like marigold yellows and this highlighter orange, I don't know. My friends and family hate it, so let me know your thoughts. Um, maybe I have the sauce. Never doubt your sauce, folks. All right, piece number four. No, you're not having deja vu. If you follow me, you already know the name of the game. When you find something you love, you get it again. And you don't worry if all your clothes look the same. You worry about that, that internal, okay? You worry about who you are, how you are. It doesn't matter if you want the same thing a hundred times. That's your business, as Tabitha says. So my business was to scour the internet, import this from wherever I needed to. So naturally, this came from Farfetch. Um, I think specifically, I think this one came from Italy. So I found it, I love it, small problem. The first one, the green one was in a 36, this one's in a 32, and I think what makes it so amazing is the oversized nature. So my best friend is a very lucky girl, I'm going to give her this one and rebuy it in the 36, the size that I originally got. Um, not so that we can be twinsies, but so that we can be twinsies. All right, so I can make this one short and sweet. Coat number four, of course, is the same as the second. It is just in kind of a yellowy, creamy, I call this color butter, um, and the wrong size. So bear with the cutaways. This will be the same size shortly. All right, and the final piece for this haul is a stunning floor length pink coat. So I will say this one is probably the heaviest of them all. Um, I will absolutely wear this in the spring and in the fall. I would also do this in, with a winter look because like turn heads, break necks. Um, I really like this, okay? It might be something that I put shoulder pads into because I almost want it to have just like slightly more structure. Um, obviously you can see in the cutaways, it comes down super long on the leg. It is a gorgeous, just rich pink tone. Um, I would call this somewhere between like a flamingo pink and a magenta. So styling wise, I think this is absolutely in its own right, a pop of color. You really don't need to um, say much more with an outfit other than what you're saying with this coat. But sometimes I like to be a little extra. So I can see myself wearing this with a color family, like maybe all purples, and then this pink coat would be gorgeous. This coat I also think will pair perfectly with my mini Jody. It's called Candy is the color. It is just like a very bright, hot pink. And I think that bag with this coat would just be like gorgeous. Again, for any reason, any season, this is giving, serving it up. I actually have a art exhibition to go to soon, and this feels like the perfect coat to wear there. Um, it just gives that whole, like, I appreciate art, I'm wearing art energy, and that's me in 2022, okay? We've leveled up in our 30s, I don't know. Uh, anyways, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, if you're not done watching, I'll link two videos on the screen here. And don't forget, this is a series. So if you want to see more of what I have grabbed for this spring-summer edit, come on back. You can expect another video in just about a week. See ya.